Mona's place was a closed-down funhouse based on a 90s TV show. The show's cancellation had been the kiss of death to it. about to get caught. been no lock on the front door. I had wondered why the place wasn't packed with hobos and stray dogs. Little wonder. as a way of sneaking up on you. You'll hear broken echoes of it everywhere, like a bad replay. You get mad at everybody for reminding you about it, even if it's all in your head. When entertainment turns to a surreal reflection of your life, you're a lucky man if you can laugh at the joke. Luck and I weren't on speaking terms, 
Or maybe the place was just too lame to be funny. Funhouse is a linear sequence of scares. Take it or leave it is the only choice given. Makes you think about free will. Have our choices been made for us because of who we are? John Mira. Yes, this is he. This is John Mira. Welcome to the next level. <sighs> I was behind the backdrops, getting warm. When I had first met Mona, her twin sister had been killed. It must have felt like madness, schizophrenia in reverse. Your other self suddenly falling silent. We had both lost our loved ones. Mona's door was locked. I could have knocked, but I felt an urge to snoop around more keep acting paranoid. I pretended I had a choice in the matter. Lords and Ladies brought to you in part by Gold Touch Brandy. I'll tell you one thing, Mona, you're no singer. You've switched tactics. We need to talk. Bring me a towel, will you? Now that you're here, you can watch my back while I get dressed. All she had told me was that someone wanted us dead. The way she was acting, I was the only one in danger here. 